when was the last time, and I'm going to start with you, Beads, since you are a captain. Oh. Sports made you cry. Mm. Happy every tears year. Every year or sad tears. tears? Don't do nothing. <laughs> every year. <laughs> uh, I will say this. Sports is the one pop, like thing in life that can make me cry almost regularly, whether it be happy or sad. Uh, I cried when the Spurs lost game seven to the Clippers. That was probably the most Oh, no. Manu retiring was probably the most recent. And it was actually one year premature because we were in San Antonio. It was the year that Zaza murdered uh, Kawhi. <laughs> and I, we all thought, as Spurs fans, we thought that was going to be Manu's last year. So I cried at the end, a couple minutes of that game. But then, of course, he came back. But yeah, I cry all the time at And then you cried again when he really retired? And then when he really retired, I cried again. Dang. I have a problem. <laughs> we we, <laughs> we, we got to get Manu on one of these episodes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Just, just crying. Sports are because they give you goosebumps. Sometimes that turns into tears. What about you, Mr. Big Shot? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm not a crier at all. Uh, I wish I was a little more emotional, to be honest with you, and sensitive. We do too, John. But I'm not. But I'm not. But winning the championship, like I said, like what I've been through in my career and being able to, you know, rejuvenate my career and, and, and have a and get a championship in Detroit um, of all cities as yes, you know. Yes indeed. You know. Um, Bad boys too. Like like Not and, even a tear? And Paul I'm sure nah nah but Paul I'm sure will tell you like the things that make you cry in that moment is just is what you've been through. Same reason why you cried, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Not getting over the hump. But it's just it's it's a combination of so many things, man. Yeah. And so many triumphs and, and, and hardships and and that moment, like you make it, you do it. You know what I'm saying? And like yeah. that—that's what makes you emotional. I feel like Paul cries a lot. I, I, no, I mean, the la I've cried a lot of times, but like in my my room, <laughs> but like publicly. You didn't do like the when, when, when I when I turned like when I like when I raised my jersey. <laughs> when I, my jersey got retired, I remember crying back in my room. So you when wait I, till you get your game, room? My first game back in Boston, I remember crying. But like publicly was the time when we won a championship, but the actual. Not that night, but the next year when I finally had a chance to see the trophy and hold the trophy. Mm. Because like Chauncey said, it, it wasn't the fact of winning the trophy. It was the things that I put myself through to get to that mm. point. Like people don't know like Living the things, in Kansas. Like the things you sacrifice. <laughs> you know, you miss your kid's first step or birthdays or mm. Christmas because you, 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 you go for this goal and, and the sacrifices you make. So it was like when I grabbed that trophy from John Havlicek, Rest in peace. Um, it was like all the emotions of all the sacrifices I made my whole life, the blood, sweat, and tears, it all really came out. Because people don't see that part, what you go through to get to that point. And it was very emotional for me. I wanted to cry when Jawan Howard just got hired to oh, be the Michigan coach. That's a good one. Because when I saw his press conference, how emotional he was, I started thinking about all of the things you guys said and all that we've gone through as a group and knowing that what he's gone through. But the time that it actually happened is when we lost to the Lakers in 2000. And I'll never forget being, like, going to the shower, and we just drafted Al Harrington. And he was just looking at me like, like, is you really crying? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, as he started to get older as a player, he was like, I understand why. Mm -hmm. I, I, because I didn't know if I would ever get to that point again, and I didn't. Right. Yeah. And so... I understood that this might be my best chance, and it was, and I never got back. So that was the last chance for me, and I cried. You should cry, Chauncey. It's, sometimes it's cleansing. 